Welcome everybody back to Icarus. I'm an old guy gaming, and uh, this is just going to be my short recap uh, of redoing the avalanche mission. Hopefully, uh, with a lot more, uh, a lot more efficiently than we did it the first time around. Uh, so I'm, uh, I'm just going to give you real quick updates and not do like a full video on this. And so just to let you know, when I where I am is there's a cave right here. Uh, this is the drop ship. I'm in this cave, and what I'm going to do is uh, I have a couple of goals. I, I want to get a minimum of 60 platinum um, with my pick that I dropped with because I can mine the higher level ores. Um, and then I'm going to, you know, use that to get to a platinum pick as soon as I possibly can um, before I, I mine um, any of the other high level ores just so we can get maximum yield. Except for in this particular cave, I'm going to mine um, all of the high level ores only because I'm not planning on coming all the way back up here once we get down to where we're going. All right, so I will bring you back uh, at some point with another update on uh, as we continue to progress. Okay, see you in a bit. All right, guys, I'm back for a quick update. Uh, it's been uh, about an hour and 20 minutes, 15 minutes or so. Uh, and basically, I mined out this entire cave, uh, built all this stuff here uh, that you see here, um, and made a whole bunch of steel bloom. So we have 55 steel bloom. Uh, made some antibiotic tonics, which apparently I need to take right now. Uh, made some flatbread for food for the trip. Um, a bunch of flint arrows. And then um, made this anvil uh, as well. So uh, what we're going to do before we set out is we're going to take a few things with us. There's not really anything in here I'm going to take with us because all that's easily gotten on the other end. Uh, what I want more than anything is the platinum ore uh, so we can make the platinum pick. I also got some, uh, I want the gold ore um, and the titanium ore, and we don't need to take anything else that's in here. So we still have quite a bit of space left. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take um, as many iron ingots with us as we can. We are going to take the anvil with us because it costs 40 iron ingots just to make the doggone thing. Uh, so we're taking that with us. And then um, can we grab all of these copper? Ooh, we can. Look at that. Okay, so we got all the copper out of here, too, uh, in ingot form. So we are good to go. Uh, none of this stuff I'm going to take with me. It's all very easily made, again, like I said, on the other side. I might grab the campfire and the bedroll just because it makes it real easy for us. No, nope, I guess never mind. We're not going to do that. Yeah, that puts us too far over. Okay, well, again, this is easily enough made. Well, we might as well just... Uh, put it back in place if we ever come back here again which we probably won't um this i would like to take though uh, not super hard to make but we might as well take it with us and i think we're ready to to go so the plan's gonna be uh what time of day is it it's 14 10 okay so it's left to two in the afternoon uh the plan's gonna be is uh if you guys remember from the last time i did this or if you're familiar with this basically what we have to do is hike all the way over to here and then we have to kind of come through um, a bit of a canyon that goes around through here and right in this area there's three mines so I'm gonna set up base um, either in or very near uh, one of those three mines and with a little bit of luck we'll be able to get everything else done that we need to do with what I'm bringing with me from this mine and what we get out of those three mines okay um, so once again, I will bring you guys back with an update later on on how we are doing. But yeah, we are um, we're about an hour and 20 minutes or so into it so far and uh, not doing too bad. All right. I'll see you guys in a bit. We've got a long run ahead of us. OK, guys, back for an update. Um, we are. Oh, let's see. Two hours now. Almost two hours into uh, the playthrough. Uh, we are now at this cave here in G7, and I'm starting to set up shop again, and I just uh, made the machining bench, so we're making very good progress. And so uh, we're going to set this down over here, and uh, the very first thing, of course, we want to make next is the cement mixer so that we can then make the concrete furnace so that we can then uh, smelt the platinum that I have to make the platinum pick, and then... Uh, start gathering up uh, copper for electronics to get to, to the fabricator. Okay, so um, that's pretty much all I have for you right at the moment. Just that real quick update. Uh, we are we're, I, we are just living in this cave. 
Uh, this is a bear proof hole. I've already been chased by one bear and he couldn't get through here and I killed him. So uh, that is where we at, uh, where we're at rather. I'll bring you guys back with an update in a little while. All right, guys, we are back for an update. I just uh, got everything I needed to make the fabricator. So let's cook that up. I've been, uh, it's the next day in real life for me and I've been playing maybe for about an hour ish or so. Um, all right, so we got that done. Now we're going to have to grind up to a, uh, let's see, a generator and a wiring tool. Uh, so we'll need 12 more electronics for that. The rest of the stuff's not too bad. And some more carbon fibers for that. Um, I'm also probably going to go ahead and make the biofuel composter and a lantern or two. Uh, just so I have those. And of course we need to make some biofuel cans. So once you get that done, oh, and we have to make the rifle still too. So um, we have, actually have everything to make this even now, except for we need a little more epoxy. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much where we are. Um, I don't know, are we three hours, I think, ish into this whole um, prospect now? So yeah, uh, that's just my quick update. I will bring you back. Probably won't bring you back until we're actually ready to, to start the, the mission in earnest. Okay, so that shouldn't be too much longer than now. I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, guys, I'm back and uh, ready to set out. So we've got a titanium knife. We have a recurve bow. Oh, actually, I was going to make some uh, aluminum arrows with this. Uh, what do I need for that? Aluminum arrows... Yeah, how many can we make total? Let's make 23. Wow, those craft quickly. All right, so we will load up the aluminum arrows in our bow. And I guess we'll just put the those back in there. Uh, okay, so we have 22 aluminum arrows, 49 raffle rounds. And I don't think we're going to need this, but since I've been making it, I'll take it with me anyway. Uh, killed the bear, got one piece of primed meat. Uh, we have a lantern, so as soon as this torch wears out, we will um, use a lantern. I got the biofuel generator, a can of biofuel, and the tool to hook it up. So we just have to go pick up the laser and then head on over and blow up the wall and go from there. So um, it's probably been another 30 minutes-ish or so since I left you in the last uh, little clip there. Uh, so what we have to do... So we have to run over to the avalanche in order to unlock the uh, laser location. I know where it is, but I don't know if it'll actually be there until we unlock it. Oh, incidentally, we got just about everything we needed out of the cave we lived in. I did have to come over to these caves and grab some aluminum, but other than that, um, we got everything else uh, out of the first cave that we started in and then the cave I was just living in there. So we did pretty good. Oh, shoot. You know what? I forgot my fur armor. Oh, okay. Let's go back and get that. Okay, so when the time comes, our laser's going to be up on this little ridge here. Uh, but I don't see it up there right now because apparently it doesn't spawn in until the... Uh, the we do the next leg of the quest. And even if it did, I'd still do the next leg of the quest just to make sure I didn't screw something up. So we have to run over here into the Arctic Bomb. For those of you who may not have seen me or anybody else do this, um, and get up to the wall, and then it'll send us back to that ledge. Is that bear dead? I think so. Alright. Excuse me. We need a suture kit to deal with him. Oh, crap. That's the only one we have left. Lots of bears in this area, man. Um, okay. What do we need to make another one? Crafting uh, suture kit. Uh, we need some more bones and some fiber.
Okay, let's make... Uh, Oh, heck, we don't need 15 of those. Let's make 10 of those. And we'll make three more of those. Okay, let's move. I'm kind of trying to save my food for when we go... Deep into the Arctic. This was Meadows. Weird ass alien meadows that'd probably eat your face off, but whatever. <laughs> now it's ice, rock, chasms, and caves. Regardless, UDA wants this place for prospecting. Which means you need to find a path to the interior. About the only thing Lagos is sure of is there's an avalanche in your way. So you're going to need the tools they've dropped. Good hunting. Okay, so this is the wall. There it is. A million tons of ice and snow. Get that heat gun sorted and set up. Should slice right through that thing once you power it up. Okay, so now we have to run all the way back to that ridge. And then build a ramp to get up there. So we'll do that next. There's a lot of, of wolves that spawn in this little spot too. So I want to try and avoid them for now. All right. So there's the um, laser gun thing up there. So let's cut a couple trees, make a few wood ramps um, just to get up there. Okay. So... Last time I did this, we started from about here, and then here. I guess I almost could have done this with three to get up here. All right, let's get the thing. This thing's kind of a heat ray. Hyper-accelerated gas produces a resonant cascade Blah, blah, blah. Something lasers. Larkwell cooked it up for group 15. Ought to cut right through any amount of ice and snow in your way, though. And sure come in handy when you reach that avalanche. Okay, we hop up here, we put the laser in place. Okay. So that thing's we ready. Drop this. Looks solid. Put the fuel in. Here like this eats power. So Suck up the power. Find a way to juice it. But I figure you didn't make it this far and turn it on. Tricks up your sleeve. That is cool looking, man. Sometimes you just got to love group 15. Okay. All right, now we get rushed by mammoths. What the? Where'd they come from? Is he dead? I think so. Okay. Now we got a ton of wolves to kill. Now, the last time I did this, these, um... Mammoths had a crap ton of uh, prime meat on them. But honestly, I don't think we need it. Uh, let's eat this prime meat. We'll eat that and the carrot. And uh, let's just go. How is it that you...
attacked directly away from me and gave me a bleed effect. How does that work? All right, so basically, guys, for the whole rest of this mission, well, here we are. I'm just going to run around. A whole new frozen world. It's kind of beautiful. But you ain't here to admire the view. He doesn't have any prime meat. got a theory that tectonic activity means there's more exotics in the mountains. It's about to get busy up here. So I guess we'll find out. He's got some prime meat. I don't think these mammoth tusks do anything, but I'm taking them with me anyways. Um, I guess the other thing we should do is bring a campfire with us. So let me um, get some stone here. And we'll make a campfire. And if we have to spend the night, we shouldn't have to spend the night because I've started off in the morning. But just in case, we'll make a, a bedroll. And we don't need any of this stuff here. Uh, I don't think we need the wood ramps, but I'm going to keep them for the moment. And we're ready to go. Okay. So basically, the whole rest of this quest now, for those of you who, again, haven't seen it before, is I basically have to run all the way over to here. I'll be I'll have to kill wolves and, and snow leopards. I get there, the quest finishes, and then I run all the way back to here to end it. And that's it. So, um, yeah, it's just me running like heck. So we, we've got about, oh, I'm, I think we have around four hours into this now. So it'll probably take me 30 minutes in real life to do all this and get back to the pot. So I'm going to say it took me about, oh, damn it, he's let us already. Uh, about four and a half hours to, to do this. Which, you know, for a, six, a 600 Ren payout is not too bad. And, you know, I could probably even do it a little faster than that. If I really tried hard. Um, but, you know, four and a half hours isn't bad for 600 for sure. So, anyway, um, that's probably about all I'm going to show you guys. And I will meet you back at the station when it's all said and done. And uh, we'll uh, we'll get uh, the next pieces of our armor set. Okay, um, I will keep the camera ready in case something crazy happens uh, between now and then, but I'm not expecting that it will. All right, guys, we are back to the pod. Let's get the heck out of here. Um, I'm gonna put these in here. I don't think it's gonna matter, uh, but let's just do it anyways and see what happens. Uh, okay, here we go. Return to station. So yeah, it took me somewhere between four and four and a half hours to, to do this. I didn't time it exactly, but um, that's about how long it took. So for 600 Ren, like I said earlier, that is not a bad run at all. And I could probably even have done this maybe in three and a half hours. One thing, though, I did get delayed by an Arctic storm after I left you guys, so I had to, you know, that I lost about, I don't know, seven minutes maybe waiting out that damn thing because it was a really long storm. Okay, so let's uh, select OG. Oh, oh, excuse me, guys. <laughs> and claim our reward. 600 Rin. Nice. Okay, so we have 600 Rin and 367 um, exotics. Let's go to the workshop, and we want to keep working on our armor. So probably the headpiece next, I'm thinking. So we have, we should have enough to do two of these. Research and make. Okay, and then, I don't know, probably the feet next. And then we'll do the hands once we finally get the, the bank for it. Okay, so we have everything except for the hands on the armor, which is great. So let's go to our loadout for a second. Um, I, uh, what happened to my suit? Did I lose that somehow? 
this I'm talking about this suit here. No, I I, I never lost it because I've never actually used it. I should have I should have taken it with me on this mission, but it's not here. So somehow or another I lost that suit. I don't know how that happened. Uh, that kind of sucks. So that means we're going to have to spend 250 Rin and 100 Exotics to remake the damn thing. That's that's super disappointing. Um. Okay, well, I don't know what else to do about it. So anyway, uh, yeah, we're going to work towards the arms and I guess redo this piece of crap and then once that's done um we might start looking at you know the top level picks i want to eventually get the top level pick the top level knife and the top level bow um and then some of these arrows and then after that i mean i don't know you know maybe we'll get some of this other miscellaneous stuff uh, it'd be nice to have mushrooms so we could get like the mushroom farming packet is it really going to make me go all the way up through these to get to it it is that kind of sucks um anyway we'll see sell ex oh is this new sell exotics for rent i didn't know we could do that how much one exotic for five rin hmm so how much rin would we get for 367? Wow. All right, hold on a second. I mean exotics, you know, if just doing the the deep vein um run, you know, which I can do in about 30 to 40 minutes to get exotics. Um Well, okay, so we would need 300 to get the arms. So that means we need to sell 50, 75, not even that, um, 65, 60. Yeah. Okay. Let's sell 60 exotics. That is cool, man. Um, all right. So let's get our arms. Very cool. Okay. Um, so now we have the full set, which is great. We'll have 10 plus 10 uh, percent weight capacity plus 10 collision resistance. Collision resistance. What does that even mean? We get, we'll swim 10 percent slower, but who cares about that, right? But and then we have plus 10 stamina and plus plus 10 stamina regeneration and plus 10 maximum stamina. Those are some pretty nice. Um. A bonuses you know for the set the only negative is slower swimming and you know again that's not that big a deal in my opinion um whatever what happened to our other backpack too i wonder did i okay hold on a second did i accidentally buy that stuff on my multiplayer guy Ah, that's what I did. I bought it on the wrong dude. Oh, son of a bitch, man. Okay. Ah, it's too bad you couldn't transfer those over to your single player guy. Man, I could have sworn, though, that I had this on my single player guy, too. Hmm, I don't know. I, I just can't say for sure. All right, well, here, let's go back to character selection. And go to old guy, not OG. He, OG is my multiplayer character. So, all right. If we go back to the workshop. And I'd like to actually buy this. So we need 50 coins. So sell 10 more of these. And then we can make the mass damper module. 5% faster speed. Okay, let's put that in our loadout. We're running out of space here. Um, Okay, so we got that. And then I'd, I'd like to get this Enviro suit only because it'll help us, you know, when we do, well, any Arctic mission, but particularly the deep vein run when I just kind of speed run that off camera. 
Uh, so that means we're going to need 250 Rin and still make sure we have 100 exotics left over. Okay, so um, we're going to need to sell 30 for 150, 50 for 250. All right, so let's do that. And now we should be able to make this. Loadout. Okay. Now, of course, we wouldn't take this. Oh, no, this has to go here, doesn't it? Okay. We wouldn't take this on non-Arctic missions. Um, but, uh, but we'll have it otherwise. So between this and, you know, all of this, uh, nano armor we'll be we'll be able to just go into the arctic I don't, we probably won't need to make fur armor at all uh in that case so nice upgrades okay cool so yeah i uh i think what we'll do is now that we do have all of the armor is you know we're gonna start working towards the the top end picks the top end knife and the top end bow so that's kind of the next thing on the list uh, but i am gonna have to farm up some uh, exotics, of course, to do that. So, yeah. All right. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right, you guys. Well, I'm going to let you go here. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And um, we will figure out what our next prospect will be in the next episode. I might actually do a couple of, uh, of the deep vein speed runs in between now and then, too. But, of course, I will do all that off camera. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and share the video, and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.